Hi friends! In this video, I'm going to talk about how I prep my skin for a big trip. So if I have a big flight coming up, how I prep my skin for that flight, considering that it's going to be pretty dry on that flight. I want to set my skin up really nicely for it. And it all starts with prepping my skin the night before. And I also wanted to go through how I pack my skincare products for travel. So if you want to see all of that, keep watching. Let's talk about what skin prep I do before I have a big flight. So the first thing I like to do is I like to make sure that the night before I go in with a good exfoliant. So that would be something from Paula's Choice. So I really like this one. This is the 25% AHA plus 2% BHA exfoliant peel. So this one I use about once a week. I really like it because I find that it leaves my skin looking and feeling like a brand new face. It's amazing. It makes it feel so smooth and it just looks so good after I use this. So before a big flight, I make sure the night before I use this and then I leave this on for about 10 minutes. I rinse it off and then I'll go in with a really good hydrating serum. So for me, that is my one true love, the Aveeno Calm and Restore Triple Oat Serum. I am so sad that the price for this went up so significantly. In Canada, this serum costs $40 now. $40 for a drugstore hydrating serum. I think that's a little bit bananas. So I won't be buying this as often. I'll stick to just buying it in the winter months because I think the cost of this now is just, it doesn't make sense for me to buy for, for a hydrating serum, $40 is a bit much. Rant over. Then I like to go in with a really good thick moisturizer. Some of the moisturizers that I might consider a nice thick moisturizer would be the Dr. Jart Ceramidin uh, moisturizer. I really like this. I find it super moisturizing um, and it just leaves my skin looking and feeling really nice and plump and moisturized. Um, the other one would be the Belief uh, True Cream uh, moisturizing balm. I just did a review on this one. It is so nice and moisturizing and it just leaves my skin feeling lovely and really helps my skin hold on to moisture. Um, another really great one that I love is a drugstore one, the Bioma. This one, I'm so impressed with it. I absolutely love it. It's such a good moisturizer and so affordable. The only thing is I didn't have an issue with the pump at first, but after using it a, for a while, it is now the pump stopped working, so I actually have to open this up and dig this in, like scoop it around there, scoop out some moisturizer to use for my face. There's a little bit left, so I'm going to try to finish it, but the, the pump, as many reviews say, sucks. Um, or another drugstore option would be the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is a fantastic cream, very well priced, and it's really it works really well worth every penny, not crazy expensive. Now, after I apply one of these really thick moisturizers, I like to seal all that in with some petroleum jelly. So I, depending on what I'm looking for, I could put a thin layer of this all over my face, which I have in the past, um, or I can just put it in certain areas where I want to make sure that I get some dry patches. I wanna make sure I really get all that moisture and hydration sealed in there. So I usually get those around my chin. I like to put it under my eyes because I really want to trap as much moisture in there as possible. And right here on my forehead, I sometimes tend to get a bit of a dry patch and around my nose. So it really depends. I would use this all over my face if, it's, if I'm prepping my skin for a flight the next day, just because I really want to just give my skin as much moisture as I can. So this is what I apply on top of my moisturizer and leave that overnight, go to bed, and I wake up and my skin just looks and feels amazing. Also, of course, this goes without saying, hydration, hydration, hydration. I make sure that I drink plenty of water the day before and the day of to make sure that I keep my skin hydrated from the inside out. So it's not just what I put on top of my skin, but also making sure that I drink plenty of water to keep my skin and my body hydrated. When it comes to packing for travel, there's a few things. So one thing I love to buy these little travel kits. So these are really great because you get individual little containers where I can put my skincare products and use them while I'm away. And these are 
great for travel because they're small and they fit within the travel requirements of I think it's 50 milliliters per container. So these definitely fit within that category. So I like to get these. I found these at Walmart, I believe. No, I got these on Amazon. So these are from Amazon. Really love them. There are, let me open them so I can show them to you guys. So I have a bottle here with a pump dispenser and it has a locking mechanism. So while it's in my bag and I'm traveling, it won't pump out the product and spill inside my bag. So this is really great. It's got this little locking mechanism. So make sure if you have this, don't get rid of these. These are key. I got rid of this on my um, cleansers and now I don't have that. So I can't bring them with me unless I put them in one of these bottles. But yeah, make sure you keep these little things. They're great for travel at locking the pump. Um, it also comes with two spray bottles. So these are really great. They have a cap that goes on the pump so that way that it won't spray inside the bag when it moves around. So it comes with two spray bottles and it also has two little tub containers. And these are great. Sometimes I put my foundation in here because when I travel, I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup. So I can put a little bit of foundation in here um, or I can put in some other moisturizers or creams that I just need a little bit of while I travel. So these are really great. And lastly, it comes with a squeeze bottle, which I really like because I can put my sunscreen in here. I can put moisturizer in here whatever I need um, that I can just also keep in my bag with me while I'm walking around on vacation. Um, and it also comes with a little scooper. So this is really great if you, breaking things here. This is really great for scooping out products out of these little tubs. So really like that. And altogether, this is also really convenient because I can organize them in here or I can use this to bring other stuff like I can put some makeup in here, some eyeshadows um, or lipsticks or whatever I need um, I can put in here and bring these with me and this will keep everything nice and organized in my bag. Another little fun tip for travel, I like to go before a trip and get a bunch of little samples like this of different products. So here I have a hydrating cream, I have another cream, I have a perfume. This is actually really fun when you travel. It's a great way to bring perfume with you and not lug around your own bottle of perfume. Now, if you really love your perfume, by all means, go for it. But this is a great opportunity to try different perfumes. Um, yeah, so I have also some serums, some moisturizers, some cleansers. I have some foundation. And I like to bring these with me when I travel because one, I get to try different products and see if I would be interested in ever purchasing the full size. But it's also a great way to pack some skincare and some makeup without taking up too much room in my bag. So this is um, my little... My little secret before travel, I like to go and get a bunch of samples and bring them with me. If I can leave you with one tip, just one, make sure you wear your sunscreen if you are flying on a daytime flight. The UV rays up there at that altitude are pretty damaging, so you want to make sure your skin is protected. The UV rays can bounce off of the clouds around the plane and get into the cabin and they can do some pretty pretty significant damage to your skin. So you want to make sure you protect your face and wear sunscreen. There was a study done back in 2014 that said pilots on like a 50, 50 minutes to an hour flight get as much UV radiation as if being in a tanning bed for 20 minutes. So it is pretty serious. It's important that we wear sunscreen when we're on a daytime flight and also reapply that sunscreen throughout the flight if it's a longer flight. So if you take anything out of this video, I leave you with this tip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or products you'd like me to review. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time.